back for training session number two together. Today we've got big surprise squats. <laughs> squats, yep. And bench. No, I don't I actually really don't have bench. So today's actually a kind of different day for me because I took the last week off from training. I hurt my back. The whole week? Pretty much. Ooh. I hurt my back on maybe Tuesday or Wednesday. Okay. And I actually anticipated it taking like a few weeks to okay, get better. Fair. But I'd say today I'm about like maybe 87% healed. Okay. So my Solid. workout today is going to be a little bit more seeing chill. Seeing how you feel. Um, seeing how I feel. There's going to be some like rehab work worked yeah. into it that I'm going to make you do with me because I yeah. don't want to be alone. Yeah, I got you. Um, you're going to see me go a little slow and steady and Sid's going to pop off with a 165 kg for three squat. How much is that in pounds? 363. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to do it. We gonna yeah, get it. we're going to get it. We're going to get it. Is it's that a gone. PR? No, it's a PR for this weight, for the weight that I'm at. Um, I'm at a new low weight. I'm at 142. The cut is cutting. The cut is cutting. So... I think the last time I saw you, I was at like 145. So okay, play a PR for this weight. Powerlifters be like, this is a PR. That's a PR for, <laughs> for this weight. The weather. The weather. 73 Seven. degrees, and I've and never I'm done like, this in 73 yeah, no, degrees. Yeah, this is definitely a PR for this weight. Did you have pre-workout yet? I have. I'm sipping on it. She's sipping on her pre, and I'm about to start my first form energy because today's workout contrasted today's workout is not intense enough for full-on pre-workout but not chill enough for me to be uncaffeinated so i feel that all right let's sip on our pre let's and do it let's go <laughs> got some one p energy in citrus blast i really like this flavor my favorite one is probably berry dream but this was the first one i grabbed out of the fridge and it's pretty solid i'd say it kind of tastes like fresca if any of you have ever had that 200 milligrams of caffeine. Um, and caffeine is about 85% of my personality. So we're gonna have a good one today. We're starting with eight minutes on the assault bike at a very easy tempo as per my coach. And I'm making Sid join me for the ride. And Sid's a spin instructor. So what the, girl, I'm just trying to save my legs. This girl was complaining to me. She's like- So I can do, make sure I do, do this squat correctly. That it squeaks a little bit. <laughs> I like that it squeaks, it gives it a little character. And one of my goals, since I'm cutting as well, <laughs> we're cutting together as we discuss, is to add 20 minutes of cardio to my day. So this will be eight minutes of that. <laughs> eight minutes of the 20? Like 20 minutes, just like a chill 20? 20 minutes of like sweaty cardio? No. Okay, yeah, just, just like walking just even? specific cardio. Oh yeah, you can like add Like where I'm on walk. purpose doing this towards exercise because I find that a lot of the cardio, a lot of the movement I do, a lot of the movement everyone does is just not really intentional. I can walk and edit like a reel. Nothing crazy. Like I can walk and edit like a simple reel. If I'm cardioing, that's all I'm doing. My brain uh, cannot handle like phone calls. Like if it's like a meeting call, if I know I don't have to talk a bunch. I'm, I'm not like, cool enough for meetings. <laughs> <laughs> I have like a meeting every two months. I also yeah. don't want them to hear me being like, <gasps> you're not gonna be out of breath walking outside. <gasps> you have no idea <laughs> who you're talking to. Fine with powerlifting, I'm not super athletic. Yeah. Um, I think strength training is an important part of oh, yeah. everyone's program and should be an important part of everyone's life. And if push came to shove, I'd choose strength training over anything else. 1000%. But if I have the opportunity and option to do cardio, especially in the fun and interesting way, I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna it. do it. I have class pass. And last month I couldn't finish my classes because it's funny, I booked you them were out. You traveling so much. That, but all kind of. I yeah. booked them out and then I hurt my back. I'm doing too much just like powerlifting, powerlifting, powerlifting. I feel like a freaking brick. I'm going to squat just the bar for Woo! the first time. Thank you. Ah! So it's here bringing the energy for my 20 kg squat. Fun fact about these bars. They weigh 20 kilograms. So there's a lot of the comments that I'd be getting and probably you also. Every 25 plus 10 plus 45 is not whatever. It's not in America anymore. I'll usually be like, zoom in, it says KG, you idiot. It's silly to like go on someone who's like an established power lifter or like an established lifters page and be like, you don't know anything about weights Wait. or counting or, or like whatever. you're lying. Like, why would I be lying by over, what would that be like? <laughs> like over half. Times more. I'm like, a crazy thing to say. And to stand on business with it. Like to really yeah. be like, 
You're lying. Like, huh? Always Google it. Google it. Go I feel like go to Google real quick before you come to my comment. Like, if we were like, if I went on and I was like, this bar is actually 500 pounds. That'd be bold. That'd be bold. I'm gonna mislabel my reels and see what happens. <laughs> pain free, which is excellent. Woo! Love that. Let's do it. No pain, yes gain. That's the vibe around here. Yes. Okay, let's go. Mm-hmm. Come on. Nice. Yes. Okay, that felt okay. Minor pain, like probably a, a more like a felt my back kind of thing. Not like a painful though. Okay. My back was there for sure. Okay, we like to know our, our bodies there. I don't usually know my body. Okay, okay. Unless I feel pain, I'm fully unaware of my body. <laughs> Blissfully even. They're really important. My nails are so screwed up right now. I've been trying to get these acrylics off by myself at home. Yesterday I spent like hours doing it and my pinky nails are so Nice, good depth. Solid. Whew. Those are really good. They felt nice. Things are snap, crackling, and popping, but that feels nice at the That's beginning. How it goes. Two at this weight, and then we'll go up to my top set. Okay. Yes. Yes. Great job. I'm focusing so heavy on like a big brace. Which is good. And glute squeeze. But I feel like these are a time when you get to get actually the, like, focus work on, on that. Because like, I feel yeah. like when it's heavy, it's we never easier. get to focus on it. And it's like, I miss days of getting to focus on technique. Because it's like, that shit's so heavy, you sometimes don't get to focus on technique. The heavier it is, the easier it is to just kind of like stand up, get rid of it. And don't die. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Nice. Pain free. I felt a little back, like right there. But overall, not bad. All right, we did it. We did it. Thought flick. <laughs> Got a sleeves and yap sesh. Oh, at competitions, she gets better when she could like feel her competition breathing, breathing down her neck. Like, she's, I guess, motivated by that. Whereas for me, I will perform the same whether my competition is like down my neck or competing at a totally different time. I think for me, the fact that I've like always been an athlete, it's like when it's crunch time, obviously I have to perform no matter what the circumstances are. But I think a certain level of like, that extra, I find that extra give, like less kilos between me and the person. And if I can give an extra five kilos and I win, I'm gonna somehow add, find the five, find the five to take it all. And I think that if it's five, I could do it. My last nationals, yeah. one on weight, actually. Me and the girl ahead of me yeah. had the same total. She missed her last deadlift, I think, or she uh -huh. missed one of her lifts. So we were like neck on neck. And I actually didn't know that I was pulling for second place. Yeah. I had no idea that my last deadlift was gonna determine whether or not I, you know, play second. And I, you know, I succeeded. It was a PR for me, which yeah. is really exciting. I wonder if she had made that last deadlift, if I could have added two and a half kilos. Yeah. You know? So like, that's an interesting point that you brought up, a realm of like possibilities where it's like, okay, I know what's likely, what's possible, and what's unlikely and what's impossible. I think when it's like 40 kilos, I'm like, bet. 
But when it's like, if it's a small discrepancy, yeah, I like see five, it. seven, mm. seven is not still seven. A lot. Five kilos is yeah. about all I can kind of give. I think that nationals is gonna have a really big range of like very beginner lifters. Yeah, all the way up until like the you know the best, best of the best. Of the best. Yeah, and I want to be competing competing with the best, with of, the the best, best. of the best. One to feel the pressure. Yeah, I would of say it. somehow like. Because I've competed at prime time at nationals the past like few yeah. years, it feels different from a world's level competition. Yeah. I don't know. Nationals somehow feels very chill to me, but yeah. maybe it's because I keep doing it. Yeah. When it comes to competition, I'm like, I'm, I thrive in it. I, it, I turn it on. I'm like, and I've done the highest level meets for USPA. I've done the highest level meets for USAPL. So now it's like the highest level meets for this new federation. So it's like. Time to, and I've been, I've done every like step on the gas step, kind of thing. Time, I, because I've made the decision to switch over and I know what I can do. And the thing with powerlifting, it's so just number based that you can literally see where you're at. It's, it's definitely going to be a good time. And I think that's where like I come into these things. I'm like, this is going to be fun. Yeah, and I'm excited. But I need a little bit more competitive. Yeah, I'm like, I have a dog. It's like fun, but I'm like, I'm ready to fucking fight for it. I am too, but I need more of that energy. Done with my squats for today, and Sid is working up to her top set. So <laughs> let's go. Uh, Sid's second warm up. Nice. Killed it. Uh. I feel strong. You are strong. Up, 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 up. Nice. Ah! That didn't feel too bad. Look good. All right. That was Sid's final warm up. We're going to take it up to 165 now. <laughs> Let's get it. Up, up, up. Good. Two more. Up, 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 up. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Uh -uh. That third one was not going to move. That's all right. That's oh, all right. fuck that. The third one would have been RPE 7,474. I wonder if we got side spotters for you, if it would have been, if you would have gone for it, but the second one was... The, like it was slow it was slow that shit was hard you did too i did too that's solid i'll take it for squatting friday too that's so fucking crazy <laughs> that's mm. round is insane that's pretty yeah it's a fast that's a i'll take it necessarily quick turnaround but two-thirds is not bad so that i mean like the strength is there shit Okay, we are moving into bench. Sid still has some backgrounds for her squats. And let's see what I got for bench. Because again, this is my first day back benching in a hot second. Three by two at 75% of my one RM. And then a three by three to five at 6% lighter to that. So I'm gonna start with the bar and just work my way up from there. Hopefully my back is, is with it. I think everything is good. Let's throw some weights on there. Five percent of my one RM. Five million pounds. I wish. Do you come up with numbers that like you're like once I hit this I could quit powerlifting? Uh, yeah, I used to say that. I I did too, and now I'm like, no, I'm just gonna want more. <laughs> All right, warm up two. I'm only going up to 186 pounds. This is already 154, so. We're taking it easy today. Woo. My coccyx hurts when I do this. A little bit, a little bit. Are you gonna I'm, go up though? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 
Have you bent uh, yeah. since you've done it? Since you heard it? No. To um, wear my belt. Just, uh, so it doesn't <laughs> Right <scrape> here. <laughs> so it doesn't scrape my thigh. That's so here's the thing me. why you guys, I have a, a, weak, a weak ass bench. I have implants. And when I got my implants, I actually had retired from powerlifting. I was like, I'm done powerlifting, so I, I don't need to bench anymore. That's crazy to me. <laughs> I decided that I okay, wanted to come back to powerlifting, and it's not that I can't bench. There's no like, there's not a physical reason as to why I can't bench. I don't want to aesthetically mess up my implants. I think it's really cool when people are able to like pec flex and their whole boot yeah. goes up. It's like things were $11,000 and I choose to, I would, yeah, I don't want to mess up my $11,000. Um, when did you get them? 2021. Um, if you flex, is your whole? No, not really, because no, I don't have chest muscles. You have muscles. no muscle. Okay, I'm gonna throw on a 2.5 and then hit my three sets of two. My coccyx hurts the most when I like lift my hips up to um, unwrap, but I feel like we're fine. Okay, first set done. All's good. Let's hit set three and then drop the weights. Okay, three to five reps. Let's aim for five. Set one of back downs. Done. Two more sets. Set two. <laughs> okay, set two is good. Back pain is slightly increasing, but it's not lasting past the set, which is nice. Uh, no, I had squats. <sighs> Finished, um. Just, uh, accessories oh, right yep. Done. Done with bench. Gonna put my weights away, and then we're gonna hit accessories the sunset. Like, for someone with like a back injury, how would you say it is? I don't think you'll feel it in your back. Oh, okay. I'm with it. Did you feel the last one in your back at all? No. Okay, let's start with my left Woo! It feels good. I like this machine. Mm -hmm. I can't it I've feels nice. It. You haven't used it? Plus. We'll have to lift legs in tomorrow. Basically tomorrow. And the day after. The day after. <laughs> okay. Okay. <sighs> 
Yeah. Don't like these at all. My pinky is gonna get fucked. Okay. I better have huge bulging biceps by the end of this. <sighs> My upper body just becomes pumped. Every time I think about working out, I'm jealous. Oh. Woo. First workout back, baby! And a week four. I did successful. That was good. That was good. Ah. No, I'm getting mugged by your biceps, <laughs> bro. That was a great workout. It was sick. Great first day back. Honestly. I think. Solid week four. I'll take it. I'll take it. Honestly, I have stuff to work on. New things, but I'm happy with it. My coach, honestly, I sent him the video. He wasn't too mad about it. I, I was a little worried. He was. You can't be mad though. Coaches, if you're a coach, you cannot get mad. Yeah. Unless your client is like on purpose doing shit to make you mad. Yeah. yeah, he's never gotten mad. He just was like, Sid, like... Disappointed, maybe. He was like a little disappointed. Yeah, like, I'll get like... I could understand Coach being like disappointed. He was just, you're not going to be as strong as you used to. And I was like, don't say that. Yeah, that's... I don't like thinking about that. I'm like, strength progression is linear. I'm Everyone like, knows it's linear. I'm like, it's so not... It's the least linear thing that... But yeah. It's straight up the whole time. Me too. Exactly. How'd you feel? I'm really happy that I was able to work out. And yeah. that's such a like low standard to have, but I'm so happy that I was just able to like get under a bar. No, that's I it. would say that this was great. Yeah. Um, a great part two to our series. Yeah, honestly, we're gonna keep it going. Yeah. I'm going away for a few days and I think so are you. Yep. So it's her birthday coming up, October twenty fifth. So wish her a happy birthday. And my knees. Hey, hey. hey. Back up. I'm gonna get back up. Knees you like gonna see us. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> I think twerking is good for the back. It is. There's research somewhere. Yeah. You guys may not be able to find it, but yeah, there is research I, I somewhere. Research. She did the research. I did, I did the, the work. The news. We'll, we'll see you guys time. next time. Catch y'all next time. Bye. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, follow us. Eight. 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 Be winners. Eight. Eight.